Hi guys, Gareth here from Man and Machine. So I've just noticed um, with Autodesk I've made a few updates in the background of the construction cloud. In docs here, I'm in the Autodesk docs, um, you'll see I have the naming convention applied as part of um, the system. If I go in and go to the naming standard here, you'll see that um, this is how it originally looked. So you'll see, first of all, we'd go in, it have the specific titles or attributes for the names. I've customised this align with ITO 19650 um, part two naming convention in the UK, which was updated last February. Um, so if I go into the custom, you'll see in here, I've changed the title um, uh, under the spratical, sorry, the uh, functional breakdown um, and spratical breakdown. You'll see here, I've put in the specific levels appropriately that I wanted. And I've also got, for example, originator in here. So you can see I've got some already defined and I want to be able to utilize them again. And you'll see again, there's some more bits of information. Uh, and then I've changed the status codes again in line with what it should be. So what I want to quickly look at, if I just come out of here, is the changes I've noticed today. So I've gone in and for the first time in a while, I wanted to apply the naming standards and all of a sudden I get this screen. What you'll see on the top right, we have the view option, which gives us all the attributes appropriately for the name convention. Again, the named inappropriate uh, naming to the old standard before it was updated. What I'm going to say here is it's aligned to UK standards, not international across the world. Others may vary. OK, now what I have noticed as well here, we can import one, which we are assuming with this case, we'll be able to import one we've edited ourselves. We can download the template, which if I just do so, you'll see here, I'll just open this up and fire it on the screen. The template is an Excel spreadsheet now. So we're going to have to fill out the spreadsheet appropriately to do uh, the task we need to, and that is to apply this on here. Just to start off, the first tab gives us an instruction of what we're going to do, and then you'll see along there we've got the specific uh, tabs we can change or update appropriately. And as you'll see, this is the one that's out of the box. What I'm going to quickly do is just look at the one previously. So um, based around what it says in the help file, if I just quickly go into the help file, um, one thing to note as well, I have noticed the January updates has gone from the help file. I'm not sure why, but if we go into the standard help under the naming convention, you'll see here it's now telling us what we need to do. So... Based on that, I have downloaded the um, Excel spreadsheet. Um, like it says here, just simply going to the little dots and then the download, and we've got the download. But I'll quickly go in and see if it downloads the existing one I have here. So I'm going to export this template out. I'm assuming it will be exactly the same name and call it number two, not overwrite the existing one. So I'll fire this up. OK, so I'm now in here. I'm just going to go across my tabs and see, for example, oh, Yep, it's got the title correctly, but it's missing. Uh, no, it's not missing. They're correct. It's actually got all the specific codes and attributes I've wanted in. Fantastic. Um, Spratical codes. Yes, for the levels. It's got those in. Fantastic. Um, got the form and it's got the role as well. Great. So it's got in things that I wanted to. Let's look at the status codes. Fantastic. So that's going to save you a bit of time because when I pop that back up there, it will actually have the information that I need. So I'm not going to have to fill it out. So I'm going to go into this and just give it a test. And again, I've not tried this yet. I'm going to try it with you guys now. So if I go import, I'm going to drag and drop this file into here, click import, and fingers crossed, it will now allow us to align the naming convention appropriately. So I've placed it in. Let's hit apply. Okay. Wow. So that in I suppose in here has made it um, very quick it's put in the names appropriately let's go into the custom and again based on this I'm guessing I can't edit this right now so originator it's put all those in fantastic it's put those specific codes in and also it's given me those codes fantastic so I'm wondering now if I was to edit this and change something whether it'll do the same so you'll see in here again it's going through the relevant um, oops, tasks. 
So I've just removed that. If I cancel that, I'm sure it won't. Yep, there you go. It's kept it as it was. We can now hopefully enforce this on the specific folder we wanted to. So let's just do on those two for now, maybe approval one. Um, and there you go. So quickly, again, if I just fire up the Excel spreadsheet, and if I was to add in, for example, another level, I'm gonna just bring those two down, put them there, and I'm gonna say, let's have the next level, which would be two. Okay, I'm gonna quickly save this and Let's see if we can update this appropriately. So let's go in here, I'm gonna go import, do the same thing, drag the name, same file in. Hopefully it will go in and, oh, look at this, it's got an action. So it's saying here, there's an update to this. Do I wanna keep both, do I wanna merge? So it will add um, existing values or do you want to over, um, overwrite? So I'll replace, so I'm gonna go merge because I just basically put one in. So I've done so. If I go into the custom, go into the sporadical, you'll now see it's added level two in. Fantastic, that's really, really good. I like the fact that you can easily update this now um, as part of that, because I did notice before it wasn't as easy to do that. You could go into the attributes, for example, and you'll see under sporadical here, we could select that, go under and go edit, and we can go into the edit in here. So for example, we need to move level two, let's put level two there, there you go. So that's great we can easily edit the information in there. Now, what I will say, um, I prefer to be able to do it in the platform, but that is a good way that someone can pass it to somebody else, utilize the spreadsheet to fill out the information, pass it back, and then we can pop it straight into the system quite easily. So I do like that, that's a really good function. So now, every project that I set up, if I've got the same um, details and information, I can easily pop those into the system. So that's a thumbs up from me. It's just probably getting your head around a little bit how it all works, but I would suggest, just like I've done, go into the help file here, go through the help file, just let it um, read through and make sure you understand it. I hope you found that useful. See you in the next one.